So I'm Troy Trofkubin, and I've been at Lord of Life for seven and a half years. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Teresa. And you've been at Lord of Life also for as long as we have. Yeah. I think the most generous person I know is, um, I think of two women who were both actually teachers of mine in college and seminary and who gave, both happened to be single and gave of themselves, they gave financially to a very high degree, but also of themselves and their commitment to the, the college and the seminary where they were at. and. Um, just went, really went above and beyond any normal expectations that people typically give to, and in ways that still continue to inspire me. My teacher, because whenever we get to five or ten hole punches on our cards, then we get a reward like extra recess, mm -hmm. or we get donuts, or a free time and it's really generous her, of her to well spend her own money to buy us donuts or give us free time or any of that. One time me and my friend Sophie we did a fundraiser for the Humane Society and there was free activities and ice cream and you could donate if you wanted and we raised $112 for the Humane Society. Yeah. Um, I, I think I've always, especially since faith became a central part of my life, always tried to be generous and giving in different ways. But at one time stands out to me in college, I didn't make a lot of money, but the money I got, I would try to tithe or to set aside 10%. And since I didn't have a church I was really involved in, I saved up some. And at a certain point, um, a friend of mine was trying to raise money for a mission trip. And so I said, all right, he's raising money for a mission trip. I'll give him. And I ended up giving him uh, a couple hundred dollars because I'd saved up this money from this. And it so blew him away that um, I would do that and I would support him. And it put in perspective to me just how great a gift that can be to someone else. And not every gift that we give is like that, but that example stuck with me and still sticks with me of just what a, what a simple, um, I don't know, persistent plan of, of, of setting aside um, money to, and sort of putting in a, a plan in action to be generous, how big of an impact that can make to real life people. Well, I like how when you walk in, there's people who recognize you, so you're not a complete stranger to everybody. And there's people that care about you, and they know you. That is big, isn't it? Mm-hmm. How about you, Troy? What excites you about the future of Lord of Life? I'm excited that um, I think there's a... I'm excited for the ways that our congregation is thinking about the future of families and, and kids. So, What excites me, I think, is that um, we as a church and the leaders of this place um, are thinking very carefully about the future and investing in the future, and not just financially, but in ways that invest in people's faith.